Hello everyone. So in this tutorial we are going to discuss about subqueries along with aggregate functions. So let's start. The first question, what is the maximum salary? So the maximum salary is 20,000. So the query for that will be select max of sal from EMP. A simple question that do not include any subqueries right now. We'll see the next question. Who gets the maximum salary? So this time we want to display a person or the employee who is getting the maximum salary. In this case, the employee EEE -E -E is getting the maximum salary that is of 20,000. So the query for this is as simple as select E name from employee where salary is equal to 20,000 because the 20,000 is the maximum salary. E name from EMP where sal is equal to 20,000. So we get the answer, but this query will always return the employee who get 20,000, not the maximum salary. In this case, although the maximum salary is 20,000, but the proper query for this question would be this 20,000 should be replaced by the subquery which will return me the maximum salary. So internally the value will be calculated first, the 20,000 will be returned and then the outer query will behave something like this. So what we'll have over here is Okay, so as we usually see that in subquery, instead of uh, equal to operator, we put a uh, in operator. But in this case, since we are writing a uh, aggregate functions in an inner query, I am always sure that this query is going to return one record all the time. So using equal to operator can be safe over here or will be safe. Oh, sorry, uh, not 20,000. The highest salary is 40,000. Okay, so we get the answer. Next question. How many employees earn more than employee number one? So the salary for employee number one is 7,000. So how many earn more than it? So there are three people, 20,000, 40,000 and 17,000. So the count should be three. So what we need is select A count star from EMP. If you just put like this, you'll get the count of five, but we want salary. So where sal is greater than employee number one. So the inner query will give us the salary of employee number one. So select sal. from EMP where E number is equals to 1. Yes, so there are three employees who earn more than employee number 1. If you want to display who earns more than employee number 1, then instead of count star, what we can just put is e name so the answer will be bbb ccc and ee -E. yes so the next question which employees do the same job as employee number two so employee number two work as a manager so which employees work as a manager so the output in this query will get as the number two employee and number fifth employee because number two as does the same job as number two okay so the query will be select let's say e number comma e rape from emp where designation equal to let's 
select designation from EMP where EMP number is equals to 2. So inner query will give us the designation of employee number 2 which will be manager and outer query will display the results of managers where designation is equals to managers. So the answer will be for number 2 and number 5. Something is missing. Okay, where? Oh, it's not EMPNO, it's ENO. So now we'll get this answer that is employee number 2 and employee number 5 next question mm, probably the last of which employees from Delhi do the same job as employee number 2 so this question will include this condition that is where designation is equals to employee number 2 and we have another condition that is the location Delhi which will again include a subquery so in a WHERE clause, each and every condition may include a subquery if required. So in this case we have two conditions, one for employee number 2 and one for Delhi and both of these includes the subquery. So what we get is and what we want is department number is equals to select department number from department table where location is equals to Delhi and this equal to operator should be replaced with in because there can be multiple locations in Delhi but in this case since employee number is a primary key so only one employee number will be present so I am sure that this subquery will always return one record so we are we can use equal to operator over here so this will be the final query yes so from employee number two uh, from managers that is there is only one manager that work from Delhi that is in department number 20 so final answer is number five that is EEE so we'll stop over here now in the next tutorial we'll start with using joins and till then, happy learning.